So Chris, excited for our trip? Super excited. Yeah, how much time we got until we board? Oh, we're actually filming. Um, I don't know. <laughs> We're actually filming. I thought you were taking a picture of me. No, no. I don't, I, at least like 20 yeah. minutes. No, I don't think so. Yeah. It's already nine, isn't it? Oh, it's check. definitely nine. I mean, Jack. It's definitely nine. We're the getting the time, time check. The time is, what does it say on here? I can't see it through the camera. 9.15. 9.15. 9.15. All right, let's, let's look outside. I don't think I can look outside. It's too bright. Camera will not focus. Anyways, we're flying West Jet. Super exciting! Super duper exciting. All right. We just finished all of our calls that our, our parents know we're going. And saying Happy Mother's Day. And saying Happy Mother's so Day. So here's us flying okay. from Toronto to Vancouver. All right. Guys yeah, it was fantastic. It was our first time um, being out west, so flying over the mountains was a really nice experience. Seeing them, really, really beautiful. And as you come in closer um, to landing, you get really close to the mountains um, as the plane's descending. So here's the landing. Sorry about it being a little bit blurred out. It'll get clear soon. It was a good, fun, successful landing. And you can see the mountains in the back. Yeah. Vancouver Airport. So we just got off of the plane and we got all of our luggage. And we're going outside. Gotta pick up a taxi to go to our friend's house. Beautiful Vancouver. Oh my goodness, so here's so us sunny. in a taxi. You can All see right. the mountains again. Let's just find a taxi. And we're in Vancouver. Woohoo! So our taxi driver was a little bit of a maniac on the road. <laughs> you can kind of see how fast he's going, it's a little ridiculous. Yeah, especially given this was a fairly residential area, um, but it seemed like everyone was driving that fast on, yeah. on the road here. <laughs> and, Very nice area. And though. as you can see, everybody has bushes in the front, and I think it's because they're on a major street. Bushes so, and hedges. Yeah, I think it kind of mutes out the sound. Yeah. Gives them good privacy as well. So that's uh, Vancouver downtown, where all those buildings are, we were told. And again, the mountains. You see the mountains everywhere, which is neat. So we're on, what street is this again? Commercial Drive. Commercial Drive. We have some smoothies. We were so hungry. And more thirsty. And here's our friend Calvin. Chris and Calvin are talking about animation stuff. Because that's what we do. <laughs> yep. So here we're having sangrias. Calvin didn't end up liking them very much. So. Sangrias and pizza. He couldn't handle the red wine. Yeah, so I pretty much had to drink most of it. The, the two of us, yeah. <laughs> uh, me and Candace finished it off. There's our delicious pizza. They were nice Super enough to make yummy. it vegan for us. Oh, we just told them to hold the cheese. It was easy. Yeah. Nom nom. Look at my stubble, my goodness. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's Calvin's Pizza. Really great place on Commercial Drive. They do their... Um, Baking, baking it on a stone, I think it is. Yeah, so here's a gelato place, which we were going to buy at, and then we realized that they it was cash only. I can't believe places still do this. <laughs> but clearly they get away with it. And look, now he not. now he's realized, Calvin's realizing it's cash only, so we went for cupcakes. We went for cupcakes. We went to get money and get cupcakes. We saw this place, um, beautiful little shop on Commercial Drive. And they had vegan cupcakes, too. Uh, yeah. So that got us excited. And There's the vegan free. side sign. So Candace and I picked up Calvin had a sample. Some there's there's cupcakes. the samples. And then the lady freaked out cuz she thought I was taking a picture. <laughs> 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 so that's the cupcake shop again. Yeah. So this is uh, our second day there. It was Mother's Day, so we went for waffles. Yummy yummy waffles. This place was so busy. Yeah, it was pretty unbelievable. We had to wait for a table. Um, thankfully, thankfully, I uh, cleared out in time for us to be there. And here's so my waffles. Sunday morning, we meet. We're meeting another friend uh, for for waffles and for a bike around Stanley Park, and you'll see that in a little bit. Needless to say, we have a lot of animation friends that have moved out to Vancouver for work, so we would really not feel lonely if we were to move there. That's yeah, my bike really, that really I used, nice. and there's Chris and his bike, there's and that's my friend's ready. dog. Back in the corner there. Oh, and here's me trying to videotape our our uh, 
bike ride. It was a little treacherous. I was a little nervous about falling, trying to work the camera and yeah. everything. So This was uh, the sling it on your hip and, and shoot the film. Oh, by the way, I did fast it a little bit so that uh, we could go through it a you little bit you're faster. you're not biking this no, fast? No, no, I really am not. It's, <laughs> it's, it's really... Didn't you notice it's really fast? And everyone's walking and running really fast, too? Yeah. That was really fun. It's a really beautiful bike around the seawall in Stanley Park. Um, and our rentals were, were pretty dirt cheap. It was it so for, cheap. For two hours, $12 each. And um, it's a really easy bike ride. I would suggest anybody that's going yeah, to Vancouver to definitely do really this. It's really beginner level. Um, very relaxing bike ride. Uh, you do have people who are obviously in there to, to work out and get a good good hard bike ride in. So just make sure um, you're on the right to let them pass. Yeah, just just let them pass when you're going. Um, but fantastic, uh, fantastic views. Really nice skyline in Vancouver. I really enjoyed this part. Um, yeah, very pretty. This would be the south side of Stanley Park? I think or so. Or the east I, side? I don't know. I got um, so disoriented there because in Toronto, our water is south. Yeah. And you also have the CN Tower as a landmark, but in Vancouver, you do not have that. You kind of have the mountains. This was a little stop that we took. Yeah, and um, there's, there's my friend's dog again. Yeah, looking over at North Vancouver. What was his name again? I'm so... I know, I feel ridiculous that I don't I can't remember, remember his it. name. He's such a big sweetheart though. Um I'm gonna get I'm gonna just scream it out when I remember it, by the way. Yeah, for sure. It's getting closer to the beach. Quincy! Area. His name's Quincy. Quincy. There we go. Really nice area. So these things are going <laughs> blub 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 blub. Can you see them moving? I d are they're little crustaceans. They're little barnacles or whatever sticking on there. And there's there was a crab. Possibly a crab. We didn't know if it was alive or dead. We didn't give him a poke. We thought we'd let him be. Um, so this thing was submerged in water, but the water line is so low that we could walk out on this like... Yeah, it's kind of like a jetty, I guess yeah. it would be. Um, so there's blub, little blub, pools blub, of blub. water in it. Oh, and then we found a, a purple starfish. I've never actually seen a starfish before, so I really needed to get this on video. Yeah, it was, it was fantastic to see. Or I should say and a sea fish. Everyone doesn't politically sea star sea star sorry yeah, there we they're go not fish. they're not fish that's right yeah my aunt was telling us but that. you can see part of the jetty the water inside and um the awesome thing about seeing it ducklings, ducklings. um it is Plop. i love their head movements apparently it's... this the uh the sea stars ooh, ooh, um ooh, ooh. had some bacterial infection that it was, was wiping them all them. out yeah so it was really neat to see yeah i hope they all don't die i know this was a nice little stop in our bike, seeing the... Technically, seeing the we weren't supposed to go here. We went on, like, a different path that's yeah, not for bikes. Yeah, I think it said walking only. And then but, one uh, guy was like, rules are meant to be broken! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as he burned by us on his bike. It was so funny. So here we are with sushi, and Rochelle got, um, what was it, brown rice sushi. It's all of our vegetarian rolls, or vegan rolls. Some nice delicious tempura. And the funny thing is, is we this was would be our dinner at this point. Yeah, this um, is our dinner. And it was two two stops away from um two stops away from the waffle place. Yeah, it's so funny. So now <laughs> this, is the evening. this is the evening and we wanted to still hang out, so we went to a place called Union and had some yummy drinks and, and some appetizers. Mm hmm And the spring rolls were fairly amazing. They were. So they do this really cool thing at the Union where they do meal share, so part of the proceeds goes to the homeless, I think. So here's our dessert. Peanut butter pie. It was delicious. We had to go back for this pie a second time, let me just say that. And that was a coconut milk ganache? Or coconut pudding ganache? I... yeah. Pineapple? I think it was pineapple, yeah. yeah. It had salsa, and it kind of freaked me out that it was going to have salsa, but it was a very delicious pineapple salsa. salsa. Yeah. So here, here's fantastic. what the union looks like. Anybody going to uh, Vancouver definitely needs to come here. I wish there was one of yeah. these here. I would go here all the time, regardless. So this is day three, and uh, we're at Wave Coffee after going through East Hastings. I'll let anybody look that up. <laughs> Needless to it's say, it's an exciting walk it, It's like zombie land with, or, hom with or, homeless. Um, I described it as Robocop Detroit. Okay, there um, we go. So here's our coffee. Any fan, not the new Robocop, the old Robocop. So now we had lunch with uh, an old prof, and that was a sea bus, by the way, and they're free in Vancouver. Which is and uh, so our old prof's wife, who's a friend of ours, is decided to take us around more of Stanley Park. More of Stanley Park. Needless yeah. to say, by the end of it, I was like, oh my god, I am done with this Stanley Park And business. it was a big walk for us that day. We didn't rent bikes. Um, it was no. a big walk. And it was kind of chilly. 
It was fairly chilly that day. That, and, um, and Vancouver, I find, is quite cold all the time. <laughs> Aside from the one one day, the first day yeah. that we showed up, it was really hot. It was like we brought Toronto weather. But the rest of the time we were there, it was it pretty off. cold. And you know how people say that there is no humidity there? That is a lie because my hair did not <laughs> like it there. There is humidity, but it's just not sticky, hot, humid. Yeah, it's not Toronto hot, sticky. For the storks. They made these squawking noises. It was really weird anyways. You don't really need to hear it. I'll cut out the sound. <laughs> but these are some pretty... Um, Rhododendrons. Yes, that were all over the place. And they, they grow huge there. It's a the perfect environment for them. Oh, and these are some crows that were collecting nesting material. We just thought they were neat because you don't really see them doing that. Yeah, we just caught the last little bit of them. They were going at that log for a while. Yeah, so this is a tea house. And it's super old tea house. They've expanded it a few times. I think somebody used to live here. Yeah. And so, you're right by the water. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's very nice. So that was uh, Anne. Great atmosphere. Very beautiful inside. So here's our seat, and we got to overlook the water. Sitting and chilling. <laughs> so here's all of our food. We just got some um, tapas, right? Uh, it was hummus and and. Oh, you would um, consider it tape. I thought. But wouldn't you consider? Or no, I thought it was veggie antipasto. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and here we're in. Where was this? I don't oh, remember. Yale Town? Yeah, that's it. And I yeah, love the cobblestone. Nice we went for uh We went for dinner with my good buddy Nate. For um, Thai food, it was really good. Yeah, really great place. Really neat looking area. Yeah, very, very chill. Lots of nice little restaurants and shops throughout here. And then walking home we going decided we'd go through Chinatown. And we found the the uh the big gates for Chinatown. Um and they're they're quite Lions. lovely to see. Nice big lions. And then this is day four. Day so four. we went for um, vegan sausages. Are you, are you laughing at how close at how, close I went? How close you went. I was trying to get it to focus. It uh, oh, shush, shush. <laughs> uh, that's, that gives me a good And laugh. then this is what the place looks like. We went out with Thalia, another one of our animation friends. Yeah, it's like we had lots of animation friends out there. Everybody moved there. And so there's some puppies at the studio we were visiting. What studio? Shout did outs we go to DHX. Yeah, DHX is where we went. To do a lot of great stuff out there. I can't remember what type of puppies these are though. Akitas? I think that might be there's right. There's Quincy again. And Quincy. These guys were what four months old? Yeah. Super super adorable. One was super bitey. The black guy was. A super shy sweetheart. This one was the bitey um, one. This, she, this, she was bitey. They were both both lady puppies. All of the puppies that, that her dog had yeah, were girls. Yeah, all four lady puppies. Um, friend from, from the Toronto studio that we work at, Guru, um, moved out to work for DHX, actually. And, and that's her puppies there. Mm -hmm. So super nice. Well, she's socializing her. them because uh, to help, you know, when they go to their new home. But anyways, yeah. this is an ice cream shop that we went to. And there's a whole freaking line. And this is the, actually <laughs> the only the, the only night that we that it, it rained on us. It just spitted, really. Yeah, but this so is the inside. For everyone who says it rains all the time, we lucked out. Because we were there for five days and it did not rain. It did not rain. Not not come down. It didn't come down. So hard here's the, the whole inside, time. and we're still in the line. Yeah, we I have to go all the way to minutes. the front. Oh, I didn't even remember. Very good ice cream, though. They rotate their flavors. They always have a vegan flavor, so that was great for us. We had the cardamom. Yeah, it was a card cardamom coconut um, I, ice cream. I have to say, I can only have so much of the the uh, coconut ice cream though because I find it too too rich. Cardamom coconut. Yeah, very lovely flavor. Very smooth, uh, rich, creamy ice cream. Definitely recommend it. You can buy tubs oh, for yourself. And then here's our uh, the Last bagel. Day in Vancouver. This bagel, bagel Europe shop. place in a w On commercial, commercial drive, drive again. again. Very nice place. Yeah, um, there are lots of different bagels, but it was a lot of fun. Pick your own bagels. Do it up. That's our Vancouver side. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Bye.